in the study, uh, patients had started neratinib who had even uh, been well beyond six months or sometimes a year uh, from completion of trastuzumab-based therapy, but it was shown that benefit is greater in patients who receive it within six months of completing the trastuzumab-based therapy. But now that we have that knowledge and now that we have the results of the study, I think that no one would deliberately delay the start of neratinib, so I would start it uh, uh, within a few weeks of stopping trastuzumab. As we know, uh, the major side effect of neratinib was diarrhea. In fact, in the pivotal trial uh, presented by Dr. Arlene Chen, uh, there was 40% uh, grade three diarrhea. And uh, later on, uh, it became apparent that prophylaxis with loperamide would uh, drastically cut down the diarrhea rate. And um, there has been a subsequent study called the control trial uh, using loperamide initially and in the second phase adding other agents such as uh, cholestyramine and budesonide. So diarrhea rates can be cut very drastically. Just with the loperamide at 16 milligrams total dose daily, uh, which is brought down to about uh, six milligrams subsequently within the first month, and then PRN use with the second month onwards, uh, cuts such diarrhea rates from 40% down to about 17% or in the teens. So I think that uh, once we learn to manage diarrhea, uh, we can really uh, give neratinib without much concern to these patients. We have to educate our patients, we have to educate ourselves, and I think uh, going forward, it would not be as much of a problem. The other important thing to remember is that this diarrhea is uh, of short duration and the incidence really drops after the first cycle. There's a tachyphylaxis of sorts uh, to neratinib uh, by the GI tract. So those two things um, are important to highlight that this is not the diarrhea that somebody can have for a month. The, Average duration of severe diarrhea was two to three days.